for today's project, I've got these items. And what I'm going to do is take this truck and uh, take some things off of it, modify some stuff, and use it so I can have a cable drive to actuate this fifth wheel. So I've got this here aluminum tube. Ooh, yeah, look at that. What that's going to do is be a guide for this here cable that is like some 10 pound cable meant for hanging picture frames and stuff. I've got these little cable swedges here and uh, this small digital servo here that's going to do the work. It's a uh, digital Metal Gear servo, 3.8 kg of torque. I'm going to use this round piece here and some screws and such and make a small spool that the cable can wrap around and then I'll be able to keep it small enough, the goal anyway, to keep the whole contraption within the profile of the frame rail. All right, like I said, I gotta take some things apart. times I'm gonna break something good on it now this plate can come off now as you can see I'm gonna need some kind of hole there anyway right next I think I will hmm let's, let's envision where our servo is going to go Something like that. And now I need a bracket. That'll just about fit between there as it is. Uh, yep, that'll fit. Put that there. Drill and tap for an M3 screw. Let's drill another one. I need to notch it that wide and I need to go back with that notch at least that far and it fits <laughs> pretty tough stuff it fits nicely between the frame rails how the hell will I know where I'm drilling through over there Make sure it's centered because I don't want it to not be able to fit. And grab these screws just to help me hold it lined up. I'm not actually going to thread them in at all to help me keep it lined up while I drill the other holes. Now to see if I was successful. Yes, indeedy. And that'll be that. So I'll need a small servo extension to finish running this all the way forward. Yes. All right, this spool here that I'm gonna make now, this is slightly larger than my frame is tall. So I'm just gonna mark a little bit here. And then use my friend here, nicknamed Overkill, to uh, clean that up. I'm going to go ahead and use some more Lexan here. There's a little gap in there. I don't like that little gap. Let's check fit. It was not quite big enough yet. Perfect. Now I'm going to need a way to attach the cable. And the cable will feed through. Boop. 
and then I can put a little swedge on the end. And then I can pull the cable. Now I will need to secure the spool. And there's a spool. Do 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 do. Next thing I'll need to do is install it onto the server servo. The only screw I was able to find was this little scale bolt, uh, and it doesn't go all the way through either. So, and now I'll need to go find the installation tool for the scale bolt. So here's the installation tool. So as you can see, it's actually a little tiny bolt looks just like a real one but it's super tiny and then this here insulation tool fits on a regular allen wrench and I have them glued on and that way you can turn it Doo -doo -doo. next step is I can't do that on the truck so let's pull this off Okay, not going to put any kind of Loctite or anything because obviously I'm going to need to get in there again. Now let's do some stuff with a cable, huh? You excited about this? Just put a little loop on it. I guess let's just squeeze it. <laughs> well, that'll show it. Let's feed this wire through our spool. Oh, that might hit actually. If I were to do that again, I'd cut the swedge in half first. There we go. So that'll be good. I will need to cut this out for this to move. It's full range. And then cut a little further as well so I can have the guide of the tube coming up. to use. I'm gonna need to do the hoo ha with the hingity jiggity jang jig. Um. <laughs> Want to make sure I get its position correct, so I'm gonna get the actual cable in here. See if we can't slide this into place and make sure that it rests where it's supposed to rest. I'm about to pull a little forward right now for that radius to not be a problem. And it sits a little bit off to the side. So. And that'll do. Since this tube's going to be exposed, I want a little bit of a polish on it. And then I'm going to put some scuff sanding on the bits, the other bits that won't be exposed. Hopefully, it's just a two millimeter screw.
All right, so basically I'm gonna wrap this around the screw and swedge it. Now we'll go ahead and we'll get the swedge slid into position. Get the cable pulled into position. Let's get our screw as if it's in there so it can't fall out. Let's take our special swedging tool and make this permanent. Now it's permanent. Let's trim this excess. Epoxy! it's nice and flat so now in the meantime I need to stretch this cable so this will probably be the side that gets used less the wires too thin to even use those Oh geez, can't even cut it. That one ought to work. And there we go. Tubes epoxied in there. I don't want to have to mess with those again. So when I go do my tail lights, I'm gonna have to pull this whole plate off again as well. But that being said, let's get this wire run where it will be going to. Alright, now let's put all these screws in. So now all these screws are in. I need to get this little e-clip, this little tiny spring, and this big ass pin in there. So we'll go big ass pin on the spring. Oh, please fit. Dang it, fenders now. This really ain't gonna cooperate, is it? Taking those off without taking the wheels off. Now, I gotta get this little bitty e-clip on here. 
By the way, I lost the little itty bitty e clip. Fun, fun, fun. Yeah. Who would have thought that'd have worked, huh? Click. Trailers on. All right. Finish putting these screws in here. Well, it turns out I don't have any short extensions. I only have really long ones. So, let's change that. Twist and some wire, twist and some wire, sliding on the heat shrink tube. Messing with the heat shrink tube. Here we go. Oh boy. Now it's a short extension. I'm thinking that the yellow, the brown is the black and the yellow is the white. There we go. Now the extension's on there. The body. And there you have it. Look at that thing. 